to see you there. So uh, I just got this really awesome electrical scooter and uh, this is uh, my second time testing it out. So yeah, let's just uh, do a quick review on it because I do have a lot of good things to say about it. All right, so this is the Kugo Kirin S1 electrical scooter. And uh, my first impression for this scooter is that it sucks ass, okay? It's horrible. It's like one of the worst scooters I've ever ridden. Yoke All right, my first impression is that it's actually very high quality for the amount of money you pay for it. So if you just take a look here at the folding mechanism here, you would uh, expect it to uh, be really wobbly. The film made those. You would expect it to be really wobbly, but it's actually like it's a very solid piece. It doesn't wobble anything at all. And that was that was quite a surprise for me once I first started because I thought it was like it's a two hundred dollar scooter. It must wobble like freaking like this, but it didn't. So that was a very nice surprise. Now, uh, next thing that is this is probably the best thing with the scooter, and that is that it has full rubber core wheels or r rubber tire wheels, and uh, that basically means that it's pretty much impossible to get a puncture on these wheels. Unlike a lot of other electrical scooters, they tend to get punctures pretty easy. Uh, my uh, last uh, Xiaomi scooter. I got a puncture like this on my second session using it, which was uh, kind of sad. <laughs> so then here we have the grips. The grips are extremely comfortable. Just take a look at them. These grips are one of the most comfortable I've ever used on an electrical scooter. Like they are perfectly shaped for your hands and you get a really steady grip when uh, riding it. So that's definitely one of the biggest pros for this scooter, they are fantastic at. And then you also get a really good grip here for the shoes, the grip tape is very, very good. So now let's talk a little bit about how it works. So as you can see here, here is the uh, uh, speed tracker. It goes up to uh, 25 kilometers per hour, which is, you know, pretty standard speed rates for electrical scooters. I know there are others that go way beyond that. But uh, if you're just going to travel, for, travel from, from point A to point B, that's actually a pretty decent speed to do that. So yeah, uh, the range is at uh, 25 kilometers. This looks pretty good. And you can see here is the battery. So this one is fully charged. Now you might be wondering what uh, these two are. This is the gas or the throttle. And here's a brake. This is an electronic brake. Yeah. So when using this brake, you have to be a little bit careful because it is pretty aggressive. <laughs> then we have a front light here. You start it by pressing this twice really fast, like so. Here we have it. And also here is the brake light. Now I'm braking. So that's really cool. Definitely important to have brake lights. And uh, we do also have a little stand right here. Could be beneficial. Are there some cons with this scooter? Like 40, as I said before, for the amount of money you pay for it. I actually think there are very little to no counts with this scooter. Like, you gotta keep in mind that this is not a scooter that is well suited for off-road riding because of the fact that, you know, the wheels are solid rubber. Now this thing is pointing at me. Uh, so when you ride on like gravel or cobblestone, micro fence, uh, the scooter will shake a lot. So keep that in mind. That is uh, something I noticed very quickly, is that it is quite shaky when you ride on uh, unstable surfaces. But other than that, I'm very satisfied with this scooter and I would have to give it an uh, eight and a half out of 10. So that is pretty damn good, by the way. All right, but uh, I, I don't wanna leave you guys just about here. So let's actually see if we can do some tricks with this scooter. All right, have fun. <laughs> ah!
go. Oh. And Jahu North there. One eighty. One eighty. Oh. It's like it's very heavy back here, so it's really hard to do tricks on it. Let's see if we can get the one eighty. Oh, Don't do tricks with it. Okay. So he's gonna do a no hander. You can definitely do some tricks with it. <laughs> Yo. So, as you can see, you can ride without holding the bars, aka surfing to Miami. Again, I absolutely do not recommend that you do jumping tricks on this scooter because uh, I tried it out and it felt like the whole thing was gonna break. So uh, stay away from that. But if you like to ride without holding the bars, that could definitely work because this scooter has a uh, right, a speed locker, mm. speed limit uh, locker. So let, let me show you guys here what I'm talking about. It's about coming up with some lost. <clears throat> here now the the speed is locked and this is a very interesting feature because I, I haven't I have never seen another electrical scooter that I for, for the price that have uh, had that feature and it's something that I have, that I have really missed on uh, pre previous electrical scooters because sometimes when you're riding really long distances um, you really get tired in your thumb by holding this down all the time so. yeah all right so they actually found something here that appears to be a little bowl bowel bowel so uh let's see if this electrical scooter can be used here as well damn like seriously man imagine if we had one of these when we first started riding scooters that would be so amazing like, uh, I get this. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I, I get this question all the time. Like, why don't you ride park? Like, you're the best flat rider. And it's like, the reason why I don't ride park is because I never had to ride park. Like, we are grown up without parks, so. Uh, with so much time spent on this flat riding and street riding, it just became our second nature. Like, I don't know. Like, people always comment that if you were ride park, you would be able to do like 20 tail whips. And it's like, no, I probably wouldn't. Because uh, you'll get good at what you train for. So, uh, who knows, maybe I would get 10. Maybe I could try it sometime. If uh, Ryan Williams invites me to our wheelie land. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Maybe I still want. Anyways, let's uh, see how this works in uh, bow. 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 No. Definitely works. <laughs> oh my god. Jävla vattenpälla eller? Ja, yeah, it was still slippery. It was a puddle of water. Oof! Steez. Yo! Damn! Actually, it works pretty well. But it's much better to ride with a normal scooter. Yeah. So, like, back in the days, like 2009, 10, when everybody else were uh, having their summer jobs, me and like Jacob and some other guys were just riding scooters the whole summer. We didn't work, we just had so much fun, you know, just exploring, learning all these tricks, like learning trip whip flat. That was such a cool experience. And it's like, the reason why I don't want to ride ramps or streets is because flat riding has become my legacy. It's like, this is what I'm known for. 
and this is where my all my motivation lies is to just push beyond the limits that we set upon ourselves so uh, that's actually why I do it um, it's because it's, yeah this is like my, my legacy and uh, if I would do park it just doesn't feel like something I would do and I honestly don't have much motivation to ride park um, because everything has pretty much already been done in park like you see all these guys on Instagram doing this absolutely like unimaginable, unimaginable tricks like triple drive flips and like 11 whips or whatever it is it's just it's already been done like I, I wanna as I said before we'll push the limits do stuff that we have never ever seen been done before on flat like that's really what gives me the motivation a really cool aspect of flat riding is that it can be appreci appreciated everywhere you go like there are a lot of people in this world that doesn't even know that scootering is a sport so imagine you just come down the street here kicking a scooter and you throw like a whip whip front scoot people will be like what the fuck man what was that i've never seen something like that before and like this happens every single time like when people are seeing the tricks that we do on flats they're like they're blown away because they have never seen anything like that before and it's just so awesome to see their reaction so that's also one thing i'm trying to do now is that i'm really trying to spread this whole flat riding uh, uh, style of riding or uh, let's say more this uh, flat riding uh, lifestyle pretty much ding ding lifestyle so, yeah. yeah style take care a lot more flat riding style yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, and uh, in the latest years, this have grown like exponentially. Like we, we we see all around the world now, people are getting better and better flat, which is so I'm real happy to see it. So definitely keep guys keep doing what you do, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, you should definitely get one of these scooters because they are absolutely fantastic. All right, see you guys in about a week. Thanks for watching.